that was shot uh, earlier this afternoon. Now, Chad Dorman, he wa appeared in court for what turned out to be a bit of a scheduling conference now. He pleaded in March not guilty by reason of insanity, which meant that the judge would now determine would now have to determine his competency to face the death penalty. Now, Dorman has been in jail since last June when deputies responded to a 911 call from his wife after police say that he shot to death his three, four, and seven-year-old boys. He also allegedly shot his wife, but it appears that his daughter and his wife were not targeted. Now, both sides will now need to submit their reports from their psychological experts ahead of a hearing to determine his competency, which will happen in August. Judge Ferris told the attorneys that the process for picking a jury was already well underway. We had summoned in 750 potential uh, jurors, prospective jurors. Uh, we had sent out uh, in early April uh, an extensive um, jury questionnaire, which is done in every case, death penalty case. Um, and those have uh, been returned, and we were starting to obviously uh, process those. Now, because this trial is now uh, delayed for more than a year, that entire process is going to have to begin all over again to qualify a jury. It probably won't happen for another year or so. Another quick reminder, the judge in March tossed out Dorman's uh, confession because he said that uh, the investigators in this case violated Dorman's rights by uh, not Mirandizing him properly and also continuing to question him after he had asked for an attorney. Lots of moving parts in this one. Hey there, yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.